Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. This is Akita from At Home with Kita, and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So in today's video, in honor of me being back and all, I thought I would do a flip through of my current setup. Yesterday, I talked to you guys about some real talk about how I've been feeling, what I've been experiencing, the direction of my channel. And then I was thinking, I said, you know, I put my planner together yesterday, but some of you said you would love to see the inside of it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna flip through the whole entire planner so that way, you'll, so that way you can see my setup, okay? So let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, you guys saw, of course, hopefully you saw the video yesterday, you know I changed some things out. This is a new cover from our Cotton Candy Cowgirl collection, which is super cute. I'm going to be doing some things for Addison because now she saw my cover. She's like, Mom, I want one too. Of course, she wants everything I have. And so I have like a little mini me, which I love. And so I'm going to assemble her a planner as well using that collection. So the lips, okay. and. You know, being a shop owner is such a cool thing because I can change this out anytime I want. So I can get tired of the lips tomorrow and I can say, okay, now I want something else, which I may do. Um, and that's how the backside looks as well with the Fancy Plants Coat logo. I got this little band on here because I need to keep it closed because without it, this is how it would be, which isn't bad, but you know, I don't want anything to fall out or, you know, it's just better protected that way. By the way, I'm just gonna say this one time, every single thing you see here, including this, including the pen, including the cover, including the disc, everything is from Fancy Plants Co. Literally everything, okay? So I'm not gonna say that again because that gets annoying when I'm like, it's from here, it's from, you know, it, it gets annoying. So I'm going to not say that at all because I just said it. So now you know, okay? So let's go ahead and just flip through this and, um, just talk through everything and how I have it set up, why I have it set up, what I'm gonna use everything for. So the discs are transparent discs. Love this cover, by the way. It gives me glam girl vibes, if you know, you know, okay? And that was one of my favorite collections from Happy Planner, so I'm kinda throwing it back to that, if you will, to some degree, because it's it wasn't like this. It's just the lips just give me that vibe. Um, so I love them, for now, okay? And then this vellum here is from the same collection. I just added this magnetic sticky note here, this five daily reminders. Okay, one thing is not from Fancy Plants Go. This sticker here was a Happy Planner sticker. It is five daily reminders. I'm amazing, I'm capable. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality. I'm prepared to succeed. Yes, we are, okay? So I just pinned it up here, I laminated it, um, and I just keep that there, all right? Then we have 100 things to track in your planner. I love this insert. If you're thinking or you're trying to think of some ideas of what you can write in your planner. Sometimes you get this nice, beautiful planner and you're like, now what am I gonna fill it with? So this is awesome. So it's a vellum insert and this is vellum as well, by the way, I love vellum because um, it gives you just a little layering action, but this gives you a ton of things that you can use as a guide to be able to figure out what to write in your planner. So as you can see, there's a lot of things here. So from appointments, meetings, deadlines, to-do list, grocery list, meal plans, a hundred things, okay? So this is a pretty popular insert for us. So I just keep it in here just as a reminder if I too need to try to make sure I'm planning for all the things. All right, then I have this little sticky note here that says this week's affirmation, I control my own happiness, which is so true. So I just keep this in here on my table of contents. And my table of contents is probably maybe a little bit outdated now. These tend to be the top tabs and the side tabs. So if you didn't know, well, I didn't talk to you about that yet. I have six side tabs. There are frosted side tabs. We have frosted and clear. I have calendar, home, finances, fitness, faith, personal. And then at the top, I have top tabs, work, goals, and then I have routines and inbox. So I love the top tabs and the side tabs together. It just works so well for me. So I do need to revamp this because everything is not in these particular sections and I may not have these sections as top tabs or side tabs. 
but for now I'm keeping it in here. We do have these available, of course, in our shop as well, and um, you would just write it in. So I typed it in because I like it to look a certain way. All right, then these are from our notepads. We have an affirmation notepads, uh, and so I pull a few sheets off just to have them here because I like to have everything in my planner when I'm planning. So I've got sticky notes in here. I've got notepads in here. I may have some stickers in here. So that way, if I don't have all that stuff with me on my planner bag, within my planner, I should be able to plan my week out, okay? Then I have calendar sticky notes here. I love using these to be able to track some things. Um, maybe it's my ministry schedule or whatever it may be to track on this. Um, since it's undated, I love just keeping that in there so I can pull one off real quick to use it. And then on the backhand side, and again, we are in the calendar section, side tab, um, I have another um, notepad inserts that I just pulled off to keep in here. I've got them attached with a teardrop and one of our triangle sticky notes. This comes in a pack of 10, this comes in a pack of one because it's just a jumbo stick um, paper clip. So I love the gold vibes in here. So I just pinned it there with that. And then underneath here, I have our habit tracker sticky notes. All right, so I use those quite often as well. I love tracking habits. And then I have this dashboard here. These are available in our shop as well. It comes with 10 circle sticky notes. And it comes with this clear page marker here. So that way you can make a page marker similar to this. It comes punched. Uh, for holes or for discs and that way you could just stick it in your planner and you can have a little mini dashboard to put all your sticky notes on so I've got some transparent sticky notes here the line transparent sticky notes on the back and then these are circle transparent sticky notes and then these are paper circle transparent sticky notes all right and then we get to our 2024 year at a glance which I added yesterday I went ahead and wrote in some things I backtracked my January I filled in my February I filled in all the stuff happening at the school up until the last day and then some other things that I know are going on I went ahead and filled it in my calendar uh, one day I'll do an updated planner routine video I'm kind of trying to revamp some of my old videos and some of the things that brought you guys joy and brought me joy to talk about so stay tuned I'm gonna do some throwback videos but updated okay so I love the at a glance pages it starts there for me just so you know then I have a color code key I don't color code plan right now but I like to keep certain things in my planner just in case I decide to go back to that at some point so these are my colors here these are just ideas of some things I can you know track for uh, for that if I decided to go back to color coding or you know whatever if I decide to go back everything's here and then these are typically my habits so I wrote them here just to have them but whenever I get to ready to write in my habits I'll show you where I would write them in at all right and then I have this frosted dashboard here these are also very popular in the shop and these um, stickies, these uh, I think they're two by three or three by four um, card holders. So this is one individual one, each one of these are. And then on the back, I have these as well. And then we have journaling cards in the inside of them. So like this is our goals journaling card. And so you, you're able to slide it in and out. And I just keep them in here because this doesn't change for me, but you could change it by the week or by the month. So this is like my spiritual routine. Um, this is made on a linen cardstock. These are awesome, I love these. And so you would just slide it right inside the pocket there. And I just keep them here standard. And then on the back hand side, we've got some other ones as well. And this right here is actually from another shop as well. So I was wrong when I said everything. Um, I forgot, I think I got this from Hustle and Shine a long time ago and I just keep it on there. And then I have another one here too. So let me talk to you about that too. This is another paper clip that came from Hustle and Shine. Some of the little things came off of it, but I just keep it there as well. So now you know them. The three things that are not from the shop, okay? All right, then we get to the actual inserts that I'm using for 2024. We did revamp this page here. It looked a lot different for the previous year, so we'll probably just keep this ongoing year by year. Um, so that way you can put your planner, who it belongs to, if you could put your address and phone number if you would like. All right, and then we get to the months. Of course, I told you guys yesterday that I didn't put January in here because we, we it, January's gone. So we're gonna start this back up in February. So I've got a little sticky note here that has some reminders for me. So it says it's time to uh, get yourself together. Some things I can put myself up. It's time to fix what can be fixed. It's time to improve your thoughts. So just different things that I can use to motivate myself. Okay, I went ahead and planned my month for February. So this is everything that I have going on for the month, standard and otherwise. 
and I, I have to use my monthly page. So it goes from my at a glance page to my monthly pages to my weekly pages, all right? That's the order in which I plan things out. But again, I'll do an in-depth video so that way you guys know how I plan. All right, then this is the current week. Um, well, actually, I'm going to start next week because we're already at Thursday. So there's no reason for me to plan anything now. I may as well start for next week. So that's what I'll do. But I do have a little page marker in here that I created that has some things spiritually that I can remember to do. I like to keep that in here. And then this is also from the Cotton Candy Cowgirl Collection. It's so gorgeous. And then I ended up putting the sticky notes on the backhand sides for easy access because I didn't want to obstruct such a beautiful view all right and so this is my week so whenever I'm trying to figure out where I am in my planner you can see it from the top and it matches beautifully with the lips cover and I can easily just go like that boom bam pow and I'm in my weekly all right okay so now you know what layout this is called the of uh, the weekly all-in-one layout I love it because it's got your important tasks it's got your habits here some other additional tasks a blank spot here you've got a calendar here your top three a checklist notes and then you can plan your week out vertically I love to plan out with like a, a list style of planning so that's why this layout works so well for me so I've got the remainder of the month there and then the notes page on the back side. All right, then I have some grid sticky notes here, which I used for some things that I wanted to create because we are now in my work section. And so I like to see this on the outer, um, you know, first because I need to see what um, some of my ideas that I wrote in. And then also as I'm thinking of things, I can quickly just write it here. Um, and then I can transfer that to my actually weekly or monthly or wherever it belongs. So what I'm going to use the monthly for is my YouTube schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and date everything out. And then I'm going to write in all of the videos that I want to do for YouTube. And I think I'm going to do a video a day for the weekdays and then I'm gonna take the weekends off just to get myself back in y'all know when I go in I go in hard I'm just going in okay and so I'm just going to just go in full force and see how that works for me so I changed my layout as well and I changed it to the new layout and this is called our vertical week on two or one no no y'all what is this called we have 19 layouts this is called the vertical line layout version 2 okay so I just shuffled some things around so this is what I'm going to use for business and social planning because again I like a list style of planning and then at the top here I'm either going to put the YouTube video for the day or I'm going to put my social stats I haven't decided yet um, and then I have a little sidebar for lists and things like that so I'm going to start here in the second week um, and so I'm excited to get started and see how this layout works for me. And then this is a page marker. We have these in, I believe, four different sizes. And so I just put a little pocket here that I can put a journaling card in or something inspirational in if I decide to. Um, these probably need to be purged because I don't think I need to do anything with this yet. This tells me some things I need to film, but I think I already did that. And then um, I think this is something that I may need to keep. And just some reminders here. All right, so I'm going to keep this in where we are. So I've got multiple different ways to get to the various sections. I toggle between my work and, and my personal sections quite a bit. And then I like to have a little thing here at the bottom, if you can see, for the at a glance pages to get to those quickly. So I've got this little page marker here. All right, so let's move on over. And remember, I told you I put this little sticky note here, transparent sticky note, so that way I can get to the next month if I need to do some pre-planning and just so I know that I have an additional month in here. All right, so that is March, same layout, but again, we don't know how it's gonna work for us, so that could change. All right, so I've got some stuff in here for business. I am still, um, I'm probably gonna go back into this series. I had started a Planner University series on this channel, which went really well. You can always go back and check that playlist. We did a how to choose your planner, which layout works best for you, how to set up your planner, um, how to use multiple planners versus Franken planning, planner lingo and jargon, and what to write in your planner. So we've got a few more videos that we can do in this series, how to decorate your first spread, your favorite accessories, pins, all about stickers, where to buy them, organization tips. Um, types of planning and then these are the various different types of planning that I'm going to break down in separate videos um, and then we're going to talk about the community like Facebook groups social media and then your planner maintenance finding planner peace okay that's what we're, we will end with once I get back into that series um, so there's that um, and then I 
was working on a full home management system, like a binder situation. So these are all my ideas of things I wanted to, to include in each section. So I had just started to create the inserts one by one, and as I was creating them, I would check them off. So once I am done with all of these, then um, I'll be able to put together a bundle that's gonna have a full home management system. So I'm gonna get back into it. So, but we've got a lot already, so. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to restructure anything now since it's been some time. So we'll have to see. But I've got a ton of ideas here. My social media feed planner. This is just like standard stuff that I could use on a weekly basis to have uh, ideas on what to post. And then same thing here. So like make something Monday, make her Monday, what's going on Wednesday, stuff like that. Just standard stuff. And then I had uh, some videos I wanted to do for Amazon and I always write out what are all the products I'm going to mention and the order I'm going to mention them in and uh, so that's very helpful. And then these are some YouTubers and um, Instagram people I like to follow. I wrote them all down y'all. <laughs> so that way I can visit their pages and get inspiration. All right, and then this is just a tracker that I was using to uh, work on a strategy that I had heard that could help to boost your followers, engagement, and stuff like that. So I just kept that in here. Some real ideas, and then my social stats. So this is crazy because I started this social stats tracker in November of 2021, I believe. And it's just crazy to see the growth. So my Instagram was at 51,000 for um, At Home With Kita back in on the 8th of November of 2021. And now I'm at 70, 77,000, 8, 77.8. I might be at 78,000 today. So it's just crazy to see the growth. I don't, I don't think I'm growing at the rate in which I'm happy with growing, but any growth is great. And then Facebook, I was at 6,000 followers i'm at 126,000, so that's crazy and it's crazy to see the growth on the different platforms you know what i mean youtube i was at 71,000.6. your girl is at 247 okay we love that for her right so i'm really excited about that twitter i don't really focus on i lost followers tiktok is a major growth area 206 42.2 okay yes Sir and ma'am okay we love that so I keep that in there this insert can be used for so long um, it comes in a pack of eight like all of our inserts but since you're track I'm not tracking it daily or weekly I just write it in randomly um, so this has been lasting me for two years which is crazy then I have a list insert here with just some things that I want to do or create um, projects for the shop um i'm still working on certain things certain things are completed and then this is just some financial stuff all right so i'm gonna bypass that and then we'll get to the inbox section as you can see from the top i have some quote sticky notes I always just put things right here on the dashboard this came with one of our first boxes our second boxes i think so i just keep them in here with one of the little pockets as well and um, i like to keep like little mementos and stuff from previous boxes and stuff that we don't have anymore i always try to keep at least one for myself you know so now that we get into the inbox section this is from a brain dump insert it comes with a whole set of inserts but i took the other inserts out and I only just kept the prompts page um, because this helps you to be able to do an effective brain dump I also have a video on my channel sharing how to do a brain dump so you can always refer to that it comes with this along with the other sheets then a task list here of some other things I want to do just randomly and so it has the task here and then the deadline and then when it's completed so not that I haven't completed a lot um, but I sometimes don't track it all right and this is just for general this isn't for work remember we're not in the work section anymore now we're in the inbox section all right so i would just come here to dump everything out all right so i do need to check some things off of this list and some things are just outdated but again i don't like wasting things so i just keep it running until the the insert is done i love these inserts by the way all right so i've got three of those sheets in here and then we get to my routine section and this is like one of the most fascinating section fascinating sections per you guys you always have so many questions about this i do have a video on my channel walking you through exactly how i do my routines and so you can always check that video out and again i'm working on revamping lots of the videos because i've been gone for some time and they could use a, a refresher so i've got some routines in here so this is a vitamin routine this is a journaling card. A lot of times on these cards and things, I just keep things standard. So I don't come in and check everything off, but you totally could. Our journaling cards come in a pack of eight, I think. Um, and so you could totally do that as well. I love journaling cards. 
Um, so you can stick this in the front pocket of your planner. Again, you could stick it in something like this. This is a mini size folder. Um, so we do have this in half letter, but I just wanted it in a mini for some reason. So I just popped it in. I just like the layering in the different size layering sometimes, you know what I mean? And so I just keep this popped in the pocket right here. And then I also have a journaling card. These are our, not a journaling card, I'm sorry. A freebie card or like an info card. This is our current info card for the shop. So it just tells you a little bit about Fancy Plans Co. It's got a photo there, our logo, and then some more information here in the back. So this is our current card that we're using for our orders. So I just keep it in here. And then on the back hand side, we've got a little freebie card that says current vibe, working for the lifestyle I promise myself. Hello. So this is also a freebie card that we were giving out. We probably don't have this at this point because we shuffle them through. I'm always redesigning them, but I really like this one. So I'm glad I kept one for myself. Okay, then we get into a planner routine. Now, don't get overwhelmed by this, and I'm not perfect. Just so you know, everything doesn't always get done all the time. So this is my planner routine. Um, these are available separately, and then I have my daily routines, okay? So my planner routine consists of daily, weekly, monthly tasks, and then uh, you have a spot here that you can write in some additional things, all right? So I keep that in. This comes in paper and vellum. And then on the backhand side, I have some other things that I wrote in. And this is kind of what I use as a guide to plan out my month, weeks, and so forth. Okay? Then we get to the big kahuna, my daily routines. I typed everything in. We do, again, have these inserts available, um, but they won't be typed in. So you'll just write in what, whatever you want. All right, so this is my morning, afternoon, and evening routine, just as a brief overview. Within my morning, afternoon, evening routines are all these other routines, okay? And everything is not done every day, okay? Just so you know. So some things are done on different days. Like as you can see, I've written out when stuff is to be done. I don't always work out, okay? So there's that. And then some things don't take a lot. So even though it's a big long list of things, it's just a quick thing. You know, um, tidy up, fill my water bottle, um, you know, lay out the clothes for Addison. Those don't take that long. And then like just reminders to limit my screen time. My home routine, um, some things are just done on certain days, all right? I have monthly tasks here uh, that's only done once a month. And so all of that stuff fits into the various different routines. For instance, you'll see right here in my morning routine, I have my workout routine, okay? So then I will come here to my workout or fitness routine for Monday or whatever day it is, and that's what I would do. So you get it? All right, same thing for after school. So I have my faith routine here. So I would come here to my faith routine for Monday and I would do that task. So this is genius, genius. I'm telling you, this helps so much. And I use this also to help me to plan my week out. Okay, so you see how that all works. All right, again, I'll do an end of video on that. Comment below, let me know if that's something that you wanna see. All right, then we get to our goals section. So these are our goal sticky notes. I love these. You put the title, the action plan, and then the progress and the deadline. I also have a little sticky note here that says, reminder, you are the CEO of your life. Hire, fire, and promote accordingly. This was a freebie that we were giving away as well. On the backhand side, as you'll see, I don't know why I flipped it, but this is our quote notepad. So I just pulled a few sheets off of that. And then this is also one of the freebies that we were giving away at some point too. But again, we shuffle them out. That is five productivity tips. Um, so break tasks into smaller, more manageable um, pieces. This can make daunting tasks seem over, less overwhelming and easier to tackle. So there's five things that you can do here. And then a quote, trust that everything will fall into its place without forcing it there. All right. So I just keep that there as a reminder. All right, I love little little things attached to different places, okay? This is my 2024 Gold Vision Board. If you are an OG here, you know I usually tape it together and make it a fold out, but this year I decided to just roll with it as an insert, which you can do. And then our box stickers and any Happy Planner box stickers are gonna fit perfectly within the boxes, all right? So I need to come here and fill out my goals, you guys. There's a lot I gotta do, but I'm gonna do it because I want this to be the year that I really achieve more of my goals than I typically do, all right? So these are all the various sections of that, all right? Love that, then you have a reflection page for the end of the year. All right, and then the, this is 
a sticky note here with different systems that I have, so like my meal planning system, my planner system, my command center system, education cleaning, budgeting, faith planning routines, document organization system. These are all systems that I have in place that help me to stay organized. So I just keep that there. I'm not sure if this should be here. Well, it, maybe it should be in the home section attached to the home dashboard, but I got a lot going on there, okay? So we'll just keep it here. I love these goals pages too. These are our categorized goals because it's just, I believe, eight, eight of these, like this, looks just like this, eight times. So you could do one for every single month and you can write in all of your goals by life area. So family, friends, business, career, spirituality, financial, health and wellness. Maybe you don't need this big of a, a goals, um, you know, section or pages, you just need a little something, something like this. And you just need to write in a few goals. Um, this is perfect for that. So I just keep this in here because I'm gonna be using my goals fold out pages. Um, but I keep this here too, because I just like it. All right, then I have a little magnetic piece there that just kind of looks pretty, all right? Then I told you guys yesterday, I'm gonna try the getting things done method. So I went ahead and printed them out for myself. This is how the method works. All right, and then these are the various parts. So like you start here, you gather your input, all right? Your ideas, projects, informations, events, etc. Then you start with your inbox, which is this page right here. All right, and so you're gonna write in all of the things here. And then if it needs action, you determine yes or no, if it needs action. If yes, if yes, you're gonna process it. You're gonna go, you know, to the various different steps in the process based on that diagram, okay? So I love these. I'm gonna try them out and see how they work for me. So, and then I have a progress tracker that's been in here for a long time. Um, well, not a long time, it says 2023. Uh, so I love this as well, cause this allows you to just write in a habit you wanna work on. And then you have 31 days to ach hopefully achieve that habit. So you'll come here and either highlight it or check it off as the days go along. You'll write in what the habit is. So I wanted to do a workout and then no spin y'all, as y'all see nothing got done okay and so this is a cool insert that you can use to track the different habits that's gonna last for a long time as well we try to make our inserts last um, even though there's eight pages um, we try to make it to where you know they last for a while okay so then now we have the home section so the home section I've got some sticky notes here uh, attached and then on the back hand side I have meal planner notepad attached and then I have meal planner sticky notes here as well. So as you can see, I try to make sure that if I'm putting a sticky note or notepad that it goes in, the, it's in the correct section. All right, then I had some lunch ideas for Addison. And then I had, uh, this is all of my zones on the various parts of my house that I have to keep clean on our grid vellum. All right, I love the grid vellum because it allows you to position things in the boxes and it just looks cool. All right, more meal planning sticky notes, which to be honest with you, these could go right here. And that works just fine. I'm not sure why I had them there. All right, and then I had, this is just a little sticky note of some information. This was available as a part of a collab I did with Go Wild, um, and it's a declutter challenge. This came with a whole 31 days of decluttering inserts, including this page here, which I keep in here, which is the challenge, and then also this pillow placement and size guide. It also has a bedroom cleaning challenge on the back, so I just keep that in here, along with this cleaning challenge. I love challenges, as you can see. Daily tidy up schedule. Another sticky note that has the same information as the other one, so I can purge that out. All right, and then I have my weekly cleaning schedule. If you're new here, you probably don't know that I do cleaning by zones typically, um, but these are all the different rooms in my house and all the different things that need to be done within that room. All right, these stickers are from our shop as well. Um, so we have these available, so I was able to put them in each part of this, and that way it helped me to just see things more clearly. Then there's also a daily schedule and a weekly schedule, all right? Some projects that I wanna do around the house. Some things are done already. Um, I still wanna paint the kitchen island, the kitchen cabinets. Um, I did the living room, so I can check that off. I wanna make built-ins. I wanna retile the bathroom. So this is cool how this works because you put in whatever the project is, the overview, and then you put in the different tasks that are associated with that project, the due date, if it's in progress, and if it's done. All right, so I love these. I love how clean they are. Um, and so, yeah, so I've got a lot that I wanna do, and so I stuck a few sheets of those in here. I've got a recipe card in here. This is something that I made some time ago, so I can actually take that 
out. If you're new here also, <laughs> I love meal planning. It's my favorite part of planning. So I've got a whole recipe planner from the Happy Planner that I have a ton of recipes in that I'm handing that down to my daughter. Um, but these are from our shop and I'm working on rewriting some of them as well. The ones I really, really love so I can keep them for myself. But my Happy Planner one is full and it's really cool. So I'm gonna give that to my daughter. When she starts her family, she'll have all of our family favorite meals. I wrote all the stats on the back of the sticker that I printed out. It's double-sided, so I can have two recipes on one, so I'm gonna pop that in my meal planner, my menu planner. I have a whole dedicated menu planner. Then I have some meal planning inserts here that I just keep in here, pop them in my weekly section when I get ready to do my meal planning, so that way I can go ahead and write in the meal for the week and then the groceries. We also have a full-on meal planner that comes with these inserts here, along with some inserts similar to this in a monthly calendar. It's like a bundle, and then it comes with these inserts here. So I keep these in here standard, and the way I made the meal planner is to where you can detach them. That's why I have these on the back end, because the front end with the meal planner and all that stuff, you can just discard that after you use it. You don't need the monthlies and the weeklies anymore, but you still may have a lot of good information here that you don't wanna to have to rewrite every single month. So I've got my family favorites here, and then I have some lunch ideas. I've got some lunch box ideas, some items that you should always keep on hand. All right, and so I keep some of that in here. There's also a section for freezer meals, refrigerator inventory, freezer inventory, pantry inventory, household inventory. So this is a really cool set of inserts. And then these are the different, this is my meal planning system and this is my process. So I keep this in here as well. All right, and then we just have more recipe cards in here that I keep in here so that I have them on hand. So I have a few of those in here. Usually I keep two in here because I cook two times a week, or I'm sorry, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The other days are leftovers, so I always cook enough to have leftovers. And then we get to the school section. I put a little sticky tab here, so that way I knew how to get here easily. So I'm gonna be using just strictly monthlies for Addison school stuff. So I'm excited to see how well this monthly only is gonna work out for me. So I'll be able to track any tests, um, assignments, um, outings, different things I have to do as a room mom, PTA stuff, I'll be able to track all of this on the monthly and I'm thinking I should be able to make it work, all right? So I went ahead and put March in here as well. So I have this available if I need to do some pre-planning. Um, also, whenever Addi Addison takes lunch, this has been helpful for me to be able to just have some standard ideas because sometimes I'm like, what do, what do I make? And sometimes asking her, she's like, I don't know. <laughs> she knows a couple of core things that she likes, but overall she, she don't care. And so I will write in what she's having for that particular day of the week. So like that's Monday. This is, um, this is like the main dish. And then this is like, you know, snacks and fruits and veggies and stuff. And then this is like her actual snack that she gets to enjoy in the class. So this has been so helpful for me to have just standard, you know? So I've got a few of these in here, and um, I did a video on this as well, using sticky notes that you can move around. So that was pretty cool. All right, and then this is actually a schedule that is outdated. No, no, actually this is my schedule. This is like my ideal schedule, ideal schedule. Um, so I just kept this in here. I created this some time ago, but I like these inserts because they can go by the half hour. You put the activity here and then you put the details of that activity. So like daily text, what, you know, what else is involved with that? Pray. Um, at eight o'clock, I want to take my vitamins. So that's just the details, not a main activity. You know what I mean? Um, also work out. But what do I want to do? I want to walk, you know, my shop stuff. I want to work, film, edit, upload. I want to have my snack within this time. So this is just a really cool insert that you can really break down your schedule. All right. Some ideas for my son who is almost 20. So I just kept that in here. This is what I used to use for schooling. I do like this as well because it has a calendar included, but I can always, um, because it has a calendar included and I had a ta task list here, I will put her grades here and then I will break down some other things over there. So we'll see how the monthly goes and if I need to go back to this, I will. All right, this is a back to school checklist that is standard for us every single year. This is what we do. So I just keep it in here and then we have some more of our sticky notes, transparent sticky notes here that I just keep here. Now when it comes to my pens and writing on transparent sticky notes, is this pen right here. Just so you know, I keep three pins in my plan. I was gonna talk about this more towards the end, um, but this is the Pilot Permanent Pen. So this is what I use to write on the sticky notes because you gotta have a special pen. So we've got a few different pins in our shop, including this one that writes very well 
on the sticky notes, all right? So then we get to our financial section. So this is our financial wellness workbook. We may still have a few bundles left of this. It comes with like a pin, um, the workbook, it comes with dashboards, a lot of different things. Uh, we might have a few left. Um, and then we also sell the workbook by itself. So I love this workbook. I'm going to implement it in my life. I usually keep things in a separate uh, financial planner or financial yeah financial planner um, so I pulled these out of there so my shelf over here uh, this is just for my financial stuff so when it comes to my YouTube channel anything that revenue that I bring in myself um, I track here my shop stuff is for household bills and things like that that's our main source of income um, because my husband and I both work together in the shop and we have one employee and so we do that differently so I don't put I don't track any of that stuff here but I love this because it's so detailed so you've got your budget categories then you have your financial goals all right and then you have your yearly overview so all of this stuff is at a yearly level um, I did pop this page in because I like to be able to track um, this isn't actually a subscription tracker this is actually my credit cards these are all of my credit cards and when they're due um, so I didn't want to put that on what you would typically put it on because I just like the way this look so I need to wipe this out because I keep this in here standard I don't check anything off I just keep my limits um, and all that stuff I keep here so this I'm not using this how I should use this. Um, and then this is my income tracker. These are just all of my sources of income. There's no amount or anything. This is just everything that I get paid by. And if there's a brand deal, then that's tracked. That's not like a standard thing. You know what I mean? Um, I just like having this here just for reference. All right, so this is how, so this wouldn't be here. This would be, it would be like this. So all of this can be separated. So that's how we try to create most of our inserts to where you can remove the front end or the back end of something as the month changes. So you would keep the yearly stuff here and then as you move into the different months, this will be replaced, all of these different inserts because it's only by the month that you would need them. All right, so every month starts off with the monthly budget tracker and goals for that particular month. And then you have your monthly planner pages and then you've got your paycheck bill tracker, which is how I budget, all right? So this is by the paycheck, all right? So you've got your monthly stuff, um, your income breakdown, your bills, your cash envelopes if you use them, sinking funds if you use them, your debt and your savings, and then your expense totals, all right? So that's week one, week two, week three, week four. We usually try to keep do five weeks. Oh, well, week four. Um, yeah. Usually we try to do five weeks. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four. I don't know. I must have taken one out. All right. And then you have your expense tracker, your expense tracker, excuse me, where you can write in all of your expenses. All right. This doesn't go here. All right. Um, this is just a page that I popped in that I was uh, tracking my credit cards and when I paid them. All right. And then the income tracker here. So this would be included. Um, and so I like to write in, as you can see, the last time I tracked it, uh, you know, this is where I would write in like a brand deal. So I keep this popped in. I am going to start tracking that again. All right. So I've popped a few pages of those in, as you can see, because you don't typically need that many pages, but I needed them. <laughs> so I popped a whole bunch of them in. And then for some reason, I must have removed the remaining pages that come included in this set. And then the month starts over again. So you, you'll have to go and check out the listing in our shop to see exactly how the rest of the month looks. And then I'm not sure why I have this in here because I don't need this anymore. This is how I used to do my financial stuff. I would just write it here on this monthly. And then at the bottom, I put like my YouTube and, and my sources of income. All right, so that's majorly old. All right, this is a new section that I added recently. Um, my fitness section, I have some sticky notes here on the outside and then I have just some ideas of things I can eat here uh, just popped in on the dashboard I got this keto 28 day challenge that I just have popped in here as well just standard then I love the food fitness calorie tracker because it's just very simple one page Monday through Sunday of your food for breakfast snack lunch snack dinner your calories your water your workout your calories burned boom and your sleep all on one page so this really keeps your planner less bulky. So I've got a few of those pages in here as well for when I do get back on that fitness journey. And that's really all I have in the fitness section. All right, then we get to faith. I'm glad that I finally included that in here. I don't have too much in this section, just my schedule via an inbox vellum. And then I start, I'm starting to read each chapter of the Bible from the beginning 
I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it because I do have this in here as well, which is a Bible reading schedule. But uh, we have an overview uh, of each chapter, so I like to listen to it, and then I'll write in chapter by chapter what each you know chapter covers and this really helps me when i'm doing my studying all right then the bible reading schedule i have in here as well so this helps me to study the bible all right every single thing is included love this and then my scriptures to remember i'm working on writing in some key scriptures that i really are my favorite so working on that section as well then i have my personal section we have our new self-care inserts in here because self-care is something that i neglect um so we have a checklist here where some stuff is standard and then you have a section here where you can write in some additional things um, and then you have all of the various uh, weeks that you can track for your mind body and soul so i'm planning on really trying to focus on that and then you have a reflection page with a quote at the end y'all have seen this so many different times 50 best practices for a well-designed life i printed it from somewhere oh day designer folded it in half and i just keep this in here all right i was having a party and i had a guest list that i was writing out for our anniversary didn't end up doing that but for some reason i kept it in here all right then i have date night ideas for around in our area and then I have this um, card holder that I keep in here that has stickers, it has washi, a little sticker or a little photo of Addison and I, some transparent sticky notes, some of our past cards that we included in boxes. I just keep those stuffed in there. Backside, I've got more sticky notes, stickers, and our first ever sticky note pad from the Marble Dreams box. I keep this in here because that is such a precious thing to me because that was our first ever collection stationary box and i had to keep something from that box okay then in the back here i keep paper fill paper that i can use to replenish various sections of my planner based on what i'm using right now so we've got some half sheets and then we've got some full pages as well and so that way i'm not having to print anything or look around for anything i, I can just go into the back of my planner and i have what i need all right i also have this is from our notepad we have a, a disc bound notepad and it comes with different uh, papers depending on what you need so whether it be grid or dot grid or blank um you've got it lined so i pulled a few sheets out of there because i like different looks in my planner so I may use this to track my meals for the week or write a to-do list or whatever. I just like little layerings. I don't know. It's just me. All right. And then I have my pens. So I've got three different color um, pen loops. As you can see, I have this uh, is my highlighter, the Cinti Soft Highlighter in gray. This is my favorite highlighter. Again, all of this is available in the shop, including the everything. Let me just say that. Okay. Sorry. I know I said I wasn't going to say that again. but And then this pen came with our planner box. So I stuff that in the back of my planner. It's gorgeous. And so this is the pen that I use for everyday writing. And then I already talked to you guys about this pen. It's on one of our frosted dashboards, which is what I showed you earlier that had the little pockets on there with the, with the uh, journaling cards. So I just stuck that back here. And then this is one of our folders. I told you we had them in half litter as well. Remember you saw the one in mini. And I just have uh, the library card here on the back, a habit tracker. This is from our notepad. And then these are our paint colors for the house. And you guys sometimes ask me for this and I'll end up having to DM you. So here you go. Okay, these are our house colors. So we use all three of these colors um, depending on what the project is. All right. So I just keep that tucked in the pocket here. So I have it. And that is it, you guys. And it's from Valspar, by the way. That is the end of what I have going on in my planner. So as you can see, it's, it's a lot going on in here and you can see how this is my whole entire life. So remember before, if you're an OG, how I used to have like seven planners. This is seven planners, but everything is all into one if you're new here. Also, this is called Franken planning, meaning that you're taking bits and pieces from different planner systems and um, or different types of planners and you're combining it all into one planner so you can only carry around one planner. Um, if you want to carry around seven, by all means, do so. And of course, I do have those planners on my shelf. So when I'm done with inserts, I pull them from here, put them in that planner. I keep them for a year. I reflect at the end of the year and then I purge those bad boys and then I'm done. I'm done. Unless it's like something very memorable, then maybe I'll store it on, um, you know, my memory planner. But other than that, I'm done. I'm done. All right. So as you can see, I'm very 
basic-ish, very minimal. Even when it comes to my stickers, my decor, I don't do too much with color. I tend to just stick with the, the basic minimal design of things and just pen to paper. And that's just what works for me. This color with the, with the collection, with the butterflies and the tab and the cover is how I express myself through color. But otherwise, when it comes to the guts of everything, as you can see, it's just very neutral and minimal. But I do have a little pop here and there. All right. So there you have it. You, some of you had asked yesterday or said that you wanted to really see what I had going on inside this planner. And I gave you that. OK, you saw it all. So now you know exactly how my planner set up. It's constantly evolving. This could look completely different next week. And so I try to do an updated planner tour or a planner flip through with you guys from time to time so you can see how everything's laid out. So again, everything's from Fancy Plants Co. The link is below if you want to look around and see if anything uh, caught your eye. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, but I love my setup. I do feel like I have planner peace. Hopefully you do as well. And if you don't, we got something for you. OK, again, check the link. All right. OK. And you probably will find something that will help you in that journey all right so thank you guys so much again i'm back i feel good today this is three videos in one week um this may be it for the week but i'll be back next week and you'll be and you'll also be able to see my shorts and my short form content as well uh, which typically is amazon stuff so if that's why you're here you're still going to get your fix as well so thanks guys so much for stopping by for riding with me i appreciate all of your comments from yesterday i got so much encouragement through those comments and so i really appreciate you guys pumping me up and egging me on to continue on this journey uh, so i'm gonna stick with you as long as you stick with me so thanks again for stopping by hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you're new here you'll give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and you'll come back and catch another video in which case i'll see you guys then